I have a long list of colleagues as well as bosses who would testify to the fact that I'm not only a very difficult boss to work with, but an almost impossible subordinate to work with because I just won't give up. Until a problem has been dissected to the last degree, I will not give up. My colleagues often tell me that problem solving with me is like peeling an onion. It makes everybody cry in the process. But by the time you are done peeling layer after layer after layer of the onion, you suddenly realize that there's no problem left. So when India became the first large market in the world to move to T plus one settlement, and just two days ago when we went live with optional T plus zero settlement, the process felt pretty much the same. Lots of onion peeling happened to make for a global first. So this is what has worked for me, doggedly following the mantra of do what is right, no matter how hard, and leave no stone unturned, no matter how hard. Each one of you will discover your own mantra, your own personal superpower, your own mojo, your own default setting within which it is effortless for you to operate. And until you find that special mantra, it is as though you have a quiver full of arrows, some sharp, some not so sharp. And as you take aim at the goals that you choose, you may find that your sharp arrows work perfectly well, wonderful, or that you need to sharpen some of your arrows. Each one of your arrows will bear your unique stamp. Your time, your commitment, your energy, your passion, your intellect, your knowledge, your EQ, your you. And as you journey along, if it feels effortless and you're enjoying yourself, don't overthink it. Just go with the flow. But if you face a dilemma, if you're not so sure of the direction you are, you are taking or your life is taking, perhaps it might help to ask the following four questions. Number one, what exactly is my mantra? What exactly is my core? What exactly is my mojo? Second question, what goal am I taking aim at? Am I sure that this is the goal I want to shoot for? Third, is my mantra a match for the goal that I'm aiming for? Or is it a square peg in a round hole? If it's a match, it's great. If not, Maybe I need to rethink my mantra or maybe rethink my goal. The last question is one of timing. All of the first three questions need to be answered by each one of us at a point in time. There will be and don't expect there to be the same questions and the same answers right through your life. It will not happen. When you are 25, you will have different goals. When you're 40, different at 55, quite different altogether. When you're single, when you're married, when you're a parent, all quite different. The only thing I can share with you is that you have plenty of time. Over a working career that could possibly span 40 years or more, there is plenty of time for you to achieve what you want, provided you bring your A-game to it.